Welcome to Next Gen Live. I'm Euclid. I'm Nina. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm eight years old. Hello, I'm Stella and four years old. This is Miktam and he is one year old. And we're so glad you are here with us today. We are now in the third week of our series on the parables of Jesus. Parables are stories Jesus told to help us better understand how we can live our lives. Now, before we dive in, I want to ask you a question. What happens if you do not follow the rules when playing board games? You will miss a turn. You will lose. Really? Thanks for sharing. We may miss a turn or the wrong person may even win. Basically, if we don't obey the rules, the game will not be fun anymore. Is that right? That's right. Now, I remember a song that we usually sing to remind us to obey. It starts with the letter O. Can you do a letter O? One, two, three, go! O is for obey. O is for obey. Obey is doing what you should. O is for obey. Always for obey. Always for obey. Obey is the way that you should. Always for obey. Big up. Always for obey. Always for obey. Obey is the way that you should. Always for obey. In order to live the amazing life God has planned for us, we must obey Him and follow His rules. Now we are going to hear one of Jesus' parables called the parable of the two sons. This parable will help us learn why it is important to obey God with our whole heart. Now let's read this parable from the Bible. Let's read from Matthew 21, verse 28 to 32. Matthew 21, 28 to 32. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. What did you learn from the Bible verse? You should always obey your mother and father and Jesus the most. Doing what's right is not easy, but God will help us do it. Yes, that's all right. What are the three lessons that we can learn from this passage? Lesson number one. Jesus told this parable so we can understand how we should obey God. We should not just say we are going to obey God. We also need to follow through with our actions. Lesson number two. This parable also teaches us that even when we sin, it is never too late to make the right choice. That reminds us of the first son in the parable. Even though he originally said no to his dad, he changed his mind later which resulted in him making the right choice. Lesson number three, making the right choice is not always an easy thing to do, but God promises to help us when we struggle. Now, I want everyone to look at the screen and repeat after me. I will obey God with my whole heart. Can you repeat it again? I will obey God with my whole heart. Our Bible verse today is from Matthew 13, 12 which tells us that we will learn so much when we choose to listen and obey Jesus. Jesus told parables to help us learn about how He wants us to live our lives. Matthew 13 verse 12 To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, yeah. and there will be an abundance yeah. of knowledge. Yeah. Hope you had a great time learning about the parable of two sons. Remember, even when we sin, it is never too late to have a change of heart and to change our ways. We should try our very best to always obey God with our whole heart. Now, I want Psalm to pray for us. Jesus, thank you for teaching us how to obey. We love you, Lord, and in your name we pray. Amen. Okay, Psalm. How would you apply the lesson today about obedience? I help mommy and daddy with cleaning toys and help them with stuff and help mommy and daddy with washing the dishes. Really? You will wash the dishes? Yeah, I like it. And you know what we always have here at home, di ba? It's all messy. So what are we going to do to obey? 
So you have to say it louder. Clean up. Okay, great job. Okay, Miktam, it's your turn. Miktam, we learn about obeying in the Bible. How will you obey? Oh, that's nice. You will play the flute. Oh, what are the other things that you need to do to obey? Now you've heard our kids, how they will obey and apply it in their lives. This week, I want to encourage you to look for different ways to show our obedience to our God. You can do this by helping your parents with your chores or even helping a sibling with their homework. Don't just tell your family that you will help them. Make sure you follow through and actually help them with the task. When you follow through with what you say, you are choosing to obey God with your whole heart. In your discussion, there are three questions that you need to answer. First, describe a time when your parents ask you to do something that you didn't want to do. What happened? Second, what do you think obeying God might look like? Third, what do you think it means to love the Lord your God with all your heart? Thank you for learning with us today. I hope that you will learn to really obey us. And may experience the Lord's blessing when you obey. Bye! Bye-bye! See you next time at the Gideon Wild Crocodile!